Hello, Robbie Strike here. Today on my show and tell, I'd like to show you my C-band satellite dish, which I use to receive uh, hundreds of free to air television channels. Uh, many that are uh, on many different satellites because I have it on an actuator moving on an arc. It is a big, ugly, black C-band satellite dish that gives me beautiful television channels in, de in high definition. I was able to find this one on Kijiji a couple years back from someone who didn't even think that there was free to air channels on C-band satellite anymore. And um, so I got it for a really good deal. Um, nothing near what it would have cost back in the 80s or 90s when C-band was, was, was in its heyday. I use it to uh, receive signals from spacecraft that orbit the Earth. 35 over 35,000 kilometers uh, in, a, in the same spot or 22 over 22,000 miles for Americans um, with these I can receive hundreds of channels if not thousands um, what the dish does is it moves on an actuator um, so it can receive and there's even in this uh, in the 2000s in 2017 uh, there's still hundreds of free-to-air channels on satellite. Uh, most are digital DBBS and DBBS2. Um, lots are MPEG2 and some are MPEG4. Um, and there's lots of high-definition channels. Um, some municipalities will not allow you to have a satellite dish in your front yard. Um, but. Uh, some will, most will allow you to have one in your backyard. So if you just don't, usually people have them in the front yard, you gotta be careful. Somebody like, I don't know, somebody might work for the cable company, come, might come renting you out. So just be careful of that. But I do see, see some people with them at the front of their houses because that's where this, it's facing south. You need, you need to have a south facing, uh, you have to have your dish southeast face, facing. So you, uh, especially a dish like this one, so you can get the southern part of the yard. Recently, I had to change my actuator and get another one because the actuator I had was failing in the winter time and not moving. So I went online and ordered a new one on eBay. Bullet to the dish. A few uh, of these. So who's the Super Jack Coral actuator? So that side up. Hopefully a bit of a manual. High quality series actuator. And then there's this thing which is gonna be interesting. It's uh Oh my god, there's a snake in my actuator! A snake! There's a snake! It's not a snake. Okay, so here's the old actuator which we're changing today. Did me well, I got it for nothing. Uh, but uh, just in the winter time it uh, can't handle the cold so it gives an error message a lot. And uh, it's been given a lot of error messages when it's out in the stroke. So it's the old actuator, so it's time to get a new one. Just I could probably fix the reed sensor and maybe fix, it could be fixed up, but that's a little bit beyond me. So just more easier just to get a new one. All right, so here's the wires. So I'm well, really make sure that I wire it up properly. So I put the new actuator, the Super Jack, on and it's a little longer than what I was expecting compared to my old actuator. I thought I needed a 36 stroke, but I think that one might be 24. Like to measure this, it's 30, it's about 34 inches in length and uh, this thing, it's a 36 inch stroke, but maybe I didn't need to buy a 36 inch stroke. Maybe a 24 would have worked. Well, too late now anyway. So I've 
I didn't put the uh, snake on. It just seemed like it's just gonna be, the snake will just, or the, the cover, is just gonna be more problems than anything. I left these brackets here, because maybe in the winter I'll uh, leave those hanging and I can probably maybe put something, because I don't really move the dish too much in the winter. And, um, and uh, so I'm up here is the sensor. Get this here. So I gotta wire it together. Um, so this is the do or die part. I hope I can get the power plugged in right. All right, I was able to get the dish with the new actuator to stroke further than I thought it could. Only problem is that tree is there. But, um, I have pulled in the uh, 50 something west before KU band. I have a KU band, I'll be on that. So, I'm able to move it. So, to move it outside, I've, uh, there's a super power jack actuator on my dish. You can see it looks a lot longer than my old actuator. So, wire it back up and everything. And my big, beautiful dish. So I'm just using this remote control extender here. Here's the V-Box remote. And I have that inside all wired up. The only thing is I got the polarity wrong. So um, to go west is east and to go west, east is west. So I'll just fix that later. So I just aim that at this. And it makes it, well, I moved. And it gets, makes the actuator go. Inside there. I think the battery's getting weak on my. I used a lot of washers just to uh, make sure it wouldn't. Um, so I'd have enough stroke and went scrape that squarish end of the actuator, went scrape up the uh, dish, but I might jam something in between it, which I have done before just to. Give it a little bit of protection of the metal there. Spray paint it. So hopefully this thing can handle the cold Canadian winters. Like, did a nasty job with the wires. I've always left it that way. I should probably strap them up better. the killer blues of rabies. So this is inside the LMB. I have some mothballs so that uh, in a Ziploc bag that helps keep bees and thing, uh, things out, out I found but there was a bee making it a little nest or a wasp making it a nest. So I keep the uh, KU thing right there. That's where I seem to get the best polarization results. I'm gonna put the LMB in there. This is the CKU LMB. I'm gonna put the uh, just the C in there. See how if I can pit, pull in anything better with the C, titanium C1. All right. So these are my two C band LMBs. Uh, this is the C band KU band LMB. It is a DMS International. Um, what's the model number? KU band. So. LBM1, this would be the, so the C band comes out of this port and the KU band is on the very back of it. On the titanium, it's just kind of there. On the back, there's just one output. This is just a single output uh, C band LMB. Right now my disc U switch is a bit, a little bit of a mess of wires, but um, I like it here because I had it in the LMB before. And just for playing around with satellites, it's nice to be able to get to the receiver jack and um, be able to unplug it and bring for days I want to bring the TV set out and just tune dishes get the uh, get them optimally adjusted